Hello everybody! So today's build is called You Don't Need No Man. Now, <laughs> who is this build for? So this build is for people who are a killer magnet, get looped, uh, get tunneled, get targeted pretty easily, or you don't trust your teammates, which is 100% understandable. Now, what do I mean by a killer magnet? Does that mean it's a killer that you just put on your refrigerator? No, although that would be kind of cool, so behavior, please take notes. Um, no, what I'm talking about is where you start the game, and for whatever reason, the entity places you right by the killer, and the killer knows exactly where you are. So let me show you an example right here. Ormond Resort. This is actually my favorite, one of my favorite maps. Not because it's new, but because I like it. I feel like there is. Uh, I thought there was going to be like a totem or something. That was uh, not one of my proudest moments, uh, but yeah, so if this or something similar has happened to you in the past, uh, this is the build for you. This uh, can maybe counteract that and give you a chance so you don't have to cry yourself to sleep at night like I did um, after streaming that. But let's check it out. For this build today, we will use Up the Ante, Slippery Meat, and Breakdown. Now, I love these perks, I love the synergy, which is why I consider them the core perks. You may ask why? Well, up the ante raises your 4% chance of getting off the hook uh, for 3% more for each other survivor still alive. Now if you do the math, it only is an extra 13% uh, without any offerings or add-ons or anything like that. Now that is not a lot. That's very little. You might think to yourself, well, I literally could use any other perk um, besides up the ante. It seems like garbage. Now by itself, it might be garbage. However, if you use it with slippery meat, it goes from garbage to pretty good. Now I wouldn't say excellent, but yeah, pretty good. Um, the reason being is slippery meat allows you to escape three more times in the first stage. So it goes from three to six. So you have six chances by yourself to escape with slippery meat, which is actually pretty good with a 30% chance, which is a lot better than a 4% chance. Um, and then lastly, uh, with Breakdown as being you know part of the core perks for this build, um, it really works pretty well. Here's why. Breakdown, every time you get off the hook, um, whether it be by yourself or with another survivor, the hook breaks and you get to see the killer's aura. This allows you to make an escape route without the killer chasing you. Now, you might ask, what if the killer is right there? What can I do? Well, because Breakdown breaks the hook, if he gets you up, you have a better chance of struggling to get out of there because he has to go a farther distance to the other hook. But if you want to be really safe, this is why I choose my wild card, Decisive Strike. If you are camped, if you are tunneled, and you manage to get yourself off successfully with the previous up the ante with Slippery Meat, Decisive Strike gives you another chance if you go down um, to get back up and finding and hopefully to escape successfully and safely. Now, if you don't want to use the Decisive Strike, that's okay. I understand. There are a lot better perks, especially since the nerf that just happened recently, that you can use. If you want to feel like a hero, or you want to troll the killer, the perk that I would highly recommend is Saboteur. Now, you might ask, why? Like, how am I going to troll the killer? Well, what you can do, and what I, I have done, is that when the killer is bringing someone to the hook, if you already worked on it, and it's at 99%, you can just boop! tap it and then it goes down now the killer has to go find another hook um, and if you do that for two hooks at least you just saved the survivor that he was carrying that survivor should have been able to struggle out completely however if you choose saboteur i highly 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 i cannot stress this enough i highly recommend that you use at least a worn out toolbox uh, with some add-ons, whether it be a hacksaw or a wire cutter, just to help um, you sabotage those hooks. Because if you just run sabotage by itself, it really is slow, and you're not only wasting your time, you're also wasting the team's time by doing where well, you could do generators or totems. So, without further ado, let's check out where this build worked and where this build did not work. Okay, so it looks like I'm getting picked up right now, and normally I'd be nervous because everyone else is, you know, super far away on a gen, but I'm not nervous because I don't need no man, right? So I'm just gonna get myself off. Easy peasy, nothing to worry about. We got this. So I'm about to take my first chance. 
So even though she's here, I'm not worried. Okay. I still have five chances left. Easy peasy. Four chances. Three chances. Getting a little bit nervous right now. Two chances. Okay, it's come down to the last chance. Let's go. And we got it. So actually, I'm going to pause this right now to show you that um, this build worked this time. We see the killer aura. Um, the hook just dropped. And it worked. And now that I am able to see the killer's aura, I am able to get to safety. Okay, so I'm down again, which is okay, because that's the point of this build. To show you guys if you could get off yourself. Yeah, so you really want to take, um, you want to take your first chance as quickly as possible. This is counterintuitive, so I take my first chance. I missed. That's okay. I got another chance. Okay. I missed my third chance. That's fine. Fourth chance. Here we go. I made it. Want to pause? We can see the kill's aura. Check. Uh, hook is about to go down. Check. And we go. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to get hooks. Uh, I'm not really worried. The gate's open, and uh, I still got six chances to get out of here. This is only my first hook, which is like kind of cool. So yeah, I'm gonna take like one chance, easy peasy. No, not sweating it, two, three, again, just really not sweating it right now. Don't you dare make, don't you dare. And uh, this is, this is Okay, so it looks like the clown got me up and uh, it's gonna be one of their struggle times, folks. Luckily, again, not sweating it. I mean, I don't need no man to save me. Okay, I mean, two tries. Three tries. Okay, they're all over there. No one's actually saving me. She might save me. Ooh, there we go. I don't need no man to save me. I was right. I was right. Every time, I, you know, Billy. You no, know, anyone who plays Billy, keep it up. I just, I just hate facing against Billy. I really do. Ooh. Definitely my least favorite killer right there. That's okay though. I'm, just, I'm gonna get off. Second time. Third time's the charm. I guess not. Fourth time. Still got two more times. This what abs. This what abs. Ooh, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, get out of here. Oof. Got barely missed that. Plague. So much power. So much strength. Uh, if I was a fancy guy, I'd like you a lot more. But that's okay. Two times. Easy peasy. Three times. Okay, so it's never really the third time that I get off. It seems like four times. Fifth time. Sixth time. Saved by the bell. Whew. Nah, she's still chasing me. That's okay, though. I got off. I got off. Whew. That was great, right? So I don't want to give off the impression that this build uh, will get you off the hook 100% of the time because that is definitely not the case. I just want to show you where it worked first. Um, now we're going to show you where it was unsuccessful and that you actually um, went to your second stage on the hook. Let's take a look right now. So we have just finished looking at all 10 trial runs and it looks like this perk got you off the hook by yourself 6 out of 10 times which is amazing. Now I want to be honest with you guys, uh, I actually did 3 more trial runs so instead of a total of 10 there should be a total of 13. Um, I do apologize, I was there were 2 reasons why I didn't show those extra 3. Uh, one reason for 2 of those videos, um, the files were actually corrupted, I do not know why. Don't ask me why, um, I am looking into it, but sadly I'm not able to fix it and show it to you guys. And the last one was just human error, um, it's my fault.
all entirely my fault. I forgot to actually record the video and it hurt even more, not only because it was my fault and you know, nothing that, that, can, that can be done about it. It's, um, it was actually one of the most beautiful runs I've ever done in my entire life. Everything that could have went perfect went perfect and it was just like, ugh, I can't believe I forgot to record. So you gotta take my word, out of those three additional trial runs, two of them were successful and one of them was a failure. So we're actually gonna move that six um, out of 10 to a total of eight out of 13, which overall, in my opinion, eight times, you know, out of 13, getting off the hook by yourself, that's a success in my book. Uh, however, this is not a three perk build. This is a four perk build. So now we're actually gonna look at the wild card build. And um, I ran with two different perks. One perk I ran with was Sass Strike and the other perk I ran with was Saboteur. I would highly recommend uh, decide to strike over saboteur only because I do believe it gives you the better option um, for survival. If a ton, if a killer comes and tunnels you, uh, meaning he targets you right after you get off the hook by yourself, you do have another shot. Not only with the hook down, um, but if you know he does pick you up and you go down within 60 seconds, um, you have another chance to get free and uh, just hopefully enough time to survive. And uh, let's take a look at that right now. Okay, got off, and uh, I should have ran the other direction, but uh, made a mistake, that's okay. Get back on my feet, need to find either a pallet or a vault. Not gonna find any of that, that's okay though, that's okay. Uh, let's stop going down, let's hope he picks me up. Stop that, yes, okay, please, please hit the check, please hit the check, yes! Whew, and we're safe. So as you can see, the Sansa Strike was successful against being tunneled um, or getting, you know, the killer killing you right after you get off the hook. It gave me another fighting chance. Now, I wish I had more examples to show you of that, but actually out of all the games, there's only one other game where I was tunneled and that was the one I forgot to record. So, and it was against the Spirit too, and I was able to get that Decide Strike. However, this is why I do highly recommend Decide Strike to, to, uh, Decide Strike to go with this build. Now, if you do not want to use Decide Strike, especially because of the nerf and you feel like it's not worth it, um, and to be fair, I didn't use it in any other game besides one other game, you could try Saboteur. Now, why would you want to use Saboteur? In my opinion, it not only gives you more points if you are a point whore, it allows you to save uh, your teammates, essentially. And let me show you how now. I'm gonna save you, Meg. Don't worry about it. I got you. Okay, let's hope he actually comes this way, though. And... Yeah, he's coming this way. Whew. Okay, so you get a little bit frustrated, I'm sure. Um, I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm not gonna look behind me. I'm just going to um, get this hook right here, and just gonna call it game. <laughs> just okay. Was that enough though? Meg, yeah, she got out. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. The killer was definitely not happy, and shortly after I did that, I got on the hook. Rightly so. I know what I did. Now. On the positive note, I was able to save the teammate from death, which is very good to go with this build because you want as many teammates alive as possible um, to increase your chance of getting off the hook yourself. Now, I do want to point out, if you use Saboteur, and I know I pointed out before, but I definitely want to point out again, please use a toolbox. Because if you don't, yes, even you could still sabotage just with Saboteur, but it's painfully slow that you're really just helping the killer and just hurting your team. Now, before we end, I do want to point out a major flaw with this build, which this is one of the weird times that a major flaw with a build is actually not that bad. And the major flaw is if someone saves you right away before you use your six stacks. Now, luckily or unluckily, um, this did not happen uh, when I was, you know, doing the test trial runs. It did happen one time. And here, let me show you what I mean. You know what, I'm not even sweating right now, just because I have, uh, got my, I don't even know, man. Or woman. Please don't save me. Please, okay. I have two useless perks now, but, um, are you gonna heal me? No, yeah, we'll make it, but that's okay. I'm just gonna walk it off. Just a flesh rune. I honestly thought she was gonna heal me, just because she had a med kit and we'll make it, but, whatever. Uh, we all make mistakes, but, uh, so, as you could tell, that is a flaw of the build. However, is it really a flaw? I mean, you still get saved in the end. And yes, even though at that moment you did need a man, you really don't need no man. So was this build overall 
useful and would I use it again? The answer to those questions is yes. I would definitely um, use it again. And it was useful. I would say it was useful. If we look at the statistics, I got out by myself, you know, 8 out of 13 times. Worst case scenario, as we saw, is either I die, um, or I go to second stage, not die, um, or someone saves me. Which, all in all, it's, just, it's really not that bad. Um, so yeah, I definitely would use this build again. This build is definitely going to be one um, that you guys might see and you know when I'm streaming in the future for sure. Um, whether I get fed up with teammates or I just you know want to take as many points as I possibly can. Um, but let me know what you guys think of this build. If you try it out, please let me know. Did it work for you? Did it not work for you? What is your wild card or you know what else that you changed to the build please let me know in the comments below i hope to see you guys again for another uh, episode of build of the day and uh, i hope you guys have a good one